And the federal government has secured a $1.5 billion concessional loan for budget support from the World Bank. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Adon, revealed these while briefing State House correspondents after the Federal Executive Council meeting proceeded over by President Bola Tinubu. Adon said an $80 million financing from the African Development Bank was also approved by the Council. And this is to finance a project in Ekiti called Project EKZ, basically to support young people and towards advancement of technology in the country. The world today is one of high interest rates as the developed world looks to fight inflation. They're doing it by restricting money, keeping interest rates high so that they can get inflation down. What that means is that interest rates for everybody else become not just high, but um, um, very painful, if not unaffordable. Within that context, Nigeria has been able to make the kind of macroeconomic moves, has been able to take the tough decisions to restore balance in the economy, in the government's finances, that has warranted support, that has gendered and that has uh, elicited even support from the multilateral development banks. And it's on the basis of that that the World Bank is, is willing uh, um, to consider and to process on our behalf $1.5 billion of concessional financing, relatively cheap financing, and um, financing that will be dispersed relatively quickly. On his part, the Minister of Budget and National Planning, Atiku Bagudu, said the executive is in talks with the legislature on consideration of the medium-term expenditure framework 2024 to 2026 and also the projected presentation of the 2024 budget of 26.01 trillion naira to the National Assembly. So this Fiscal Responsibility Act is for the years 2024 to 2026. The $700 reference price assumes our optimism. The assumptions include oil price benchmark, which I said for 2024, we are assuming 73.96. Oil production of 1.78 uh, million barrels a day exchange rate of 700, uh, then the inflation of 21% and GDP growth rate of 3.76%. Also, the Ministers of Labour and Employment and Industry, Trade and Investment said they presented memos on various interventions, including the approval for implementation of the federal government's agreement with the organised labour. But we went beyond mere agreements to tell them that something different this time is happening. Because one part of the agreement was to file it in a court of law, which we have set the process already. And the other one was the presidential approval. There cannot be any presidential approval more than the Federal Executive Council. So we presented them to the, uh, the uh, Federal Executive Council. We analyzed on each and every aspect of the agreement and to show the genuineness and also the provide for harmonious and a good industrial relationship. What the committees will do will be to sit down and look at all the policies within different ministries as well as the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. We have a lot of um, um, policies, frameworks and guidelines that should help to revitalize the industries within this whole, within these uh, different ministries and agencies. And we are supposed to collaborate and come up with a single roadmap for each of, each of these uh, subcommittees or each of these roadmaps. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.